Never too much, never too much. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. If you have seen my previous video, um, this video is just a continuation of that. I was showing you guys how to get uh, humidity proof curls in your bundles or even in your real hair if your hair is straight. And if you wanna see the finished style for this, I'll have that in this video, but all the details are in the other video. So anyway, I'm getting ready to go on a lunch date with my boyfriend and normally I would just do like a regular plain face like this, but I'm kind of excited. We are both vaccinated and we're both hungry. So we're gonna go eat. I am going to be using some new products that I got from Merit Beauty. And I'm very excited about that because it is a, a company that I have not tried products with yet. So I'm not gonna ramble because I'm very excited about that. I'm just gonna jump into it. First things first, the primer that I'm using so the humidity doesn't ruin my makeup is the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I'm almost out, I'm gonna have to get some more, but I love this primer, it's amazing. And of course, before primer, I moisturize and I use my um, e.l.f. Oil Free Moisturizer to make sure my face was nice and smooth. So the next thing I'm gonna do since I have on my primer is I'm going to color correct. One of the products that I got from Merit is a perfecting complexion stick. Comes like this. And they basically say you won't need foundation, you won't need concealer, cause it kind of does both. And this is the color Tiger Eye. And I actually found that it's a very close color to my skin tone. So I'm going to color correct and uh, conceal with this. I'll show you what it looks like. I did swatch it on my hand so that I could see what it looks like. But here is the color. And as you can see, when I color correct with it, it's pretty close to my skin tone. I love it, it's very creamy, it's very smooth. And I like that it, I don't need a brush to put it on, I can just dab it with this. So I'm just gonna cover up my dark spots here. And on the other side. If I wanted to go for like a sheer glow look, I could just use this as foundation. A little bit of my mustache here. This is a really good match. I'm gonna go into my eyes as well. We always wanna use a damp sponge and not a dry sponge. Dry sponge is just gonna suck up all the product from your face. So now that I've done my color correcting and I'm looking pretty good, I am going to make sure to set that as well as my whole face to combat the humidity. I live in Texas and it is humid and I cannot stand it and my makeup will slide off my face if I don't do this. So I have some translucent powder in the color medium deep. This is Laura Mercier. I'm just going to dab this all over my face with a damp beauty sponge. I don't need a whole lot. I'm using this darker color just so that my foundation doesn't come out too light. First, I'm going to put it over where I put that concealer foundation stick, the Naturalist, in the color Tiger Eye from Merit. Then I'm just gonna go over the rest of my face with a little bit of translucent powder too. Never too much, never too much. Up next, I'm gonna go into my eyebrows. I want them to look super duper natural. So I actually got this volumizing pomade for my eyebrows from Merit Beauty. It's so cute and sleek. And I have the color black brown. It's gonna give my eyebrows a more full look. Because even though my eyebrows grow, they're kind of sparse as I get older. I don't really tweeze them anymore. I just trim the ends of them. So I'm just gonna put this pomade in. It's way less thick than my other pomade, so that's good. Cool, so we're gonna let that dry. And then I'm going to use my Fenty Brow MVP to fill in my brows just a little bit more. I'm not a fan of this Fenty pencil. It's just kind of hard and sometimes if I have a candle or something near me, I'll just put it close to the candle to make it a little bit easier to go on. But I don't have that so I'm gonna do what I have to do. And I just wanna fill in. Nothing overly done, we just go into a late lunch. 
If you've been on my channel any number of days, you know that my brows are always a struggle and it takes me a while to get them right. I'm using this Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Sculpting Wax just to um, lay down my brows now that I've put product in them. And then I'm gonna clean them up with some concealer. In the end, they always come out okay. I know that, I just have to trust the process. The concealer that I like most to clean up my brows is from Juvia's Place, but I'm out of it because I use it all the time. So I'm using my e.l.f. concealer instead. It's amazing, and this is the color Deep Cinnamon. So I just put a little bit on my lids. If I was gonna go for like a more vibrant color, I could use a lighter concealer. Now that we're giving big cat burglar energy, we're just gonna blend this out with a damn beauty blender. Now, the eyeshadow palette that we're gonna use is from Juvia's Place. This is the chocolates. We're gonna go really simple and sultry, kinda smoky, but still daytime, like just a whole lot of things. So once my concealer is dry or dry-ish, we're gonna start that process. While we're waiting for that to dry down, we're gonna go ahead and sculpt out the top of my brows. I'm gonna use my NARS foundation in the color New Caledonia Deep 2. Just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I like doing this and not using the concealer because the concealer is a little bit light and I don't want my brows to look like they're gonna float off my face. I'm just gonna sculpt out the top there. Super easy, clean it up. And it's the same color as my foundation. It is the foundation that I'm gonna use, so it'll blend right in. Now that my lids are about as set as they can be, I am going to go into this deep golden-ish type color. And I'm gonna put that in my transition area as well as above my crease. I might even just take it up into my brow bone so it'll give it like a little golden highlight. And what I do on one side, I'm gonna do on the other side. I'm just kind of stippling it in right now. I'm not really doing windshield wiper motions because my concealer is not all the way dry. Up next, with a little bit more of a precise brush, I'm going to go into this clay color here. This color always comes out darker on my lid and I know that, but I really like it. I'm just gonna tap it on like that on my entire lid up into my crease. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, nothing too crazy. Now that that color is on, I can take a more fluffy brush with that same color and I can go in small circles to kind of get into those little creases of my lid and kind of build up that color, my outer V as well. And then I was gonna keep it matte, but my, I. I couldn't, so I, I got to do a little, a little glitter, a little glam. I'm gonna take uh, this little shimmer shade here and mix it with this one, and then I'm just gonna put it in my inner third here. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look, look, look. So beautiful, I'm just gonna put it on my... Yes. Does it wanna go on my whole lid? I think it might. Currently cannot find my eyeliner. I don't know where it is. It's around here somewhere. So I'm gonna use this deepest color here just to line the top of my lash line, just to give me a line so that when I put my lashes on, if I mess up, y'all won't be able to tell. Now it's time for foundation. I really like this NARS foundation. It's a soft matte, so it's not super duper hard and you know, doesn't let your skin breathe. It's really good. And it gives really good coverage too. I was very surprised. I was thinking the NARS foundations were like medium coverage, but she's giving the coverage that we need. And because I color corrected with my Merit Stick, I'm good. I'm good on coverage. Like, for real. It looks so good. Now it's time to highlight and contour. I did get a second um, perfecting complexion stick from Merit. This is in the color khaki and as you can expect, it's very light. Uh, I wanted to use it to see if I could highlight. It's very pretty. 
I'm gonna just try a little bit down the bridge of my nose here. Just a little something, like it's not too bright. Like look, it's perfect. So I'm just gonna do a little something, something right there. Down the bridge of my nose and the corner of my eyes. Cause I wanna brighten that up. Merit, these sticks are great. And then I'm gonna go in with my regular concealer from e.l.f. the color Deep Cinnamon and go just outside of these lines. And that's a little bit of a darker color. So I'm still lightening up under my eyes a little bit, but I'm not as light out here as I am up here. To add a little more depth. I'm gonna let this dry down. And while we do that, I'm going to get my Juvia's Place stick and just do a little contour. Not too much, just like create the line there. We don't wanna go too deep. We don't wanna go too crazy, we just go on the lunch. But also if you wanna look stunning at lunch, that's fine too. There we go. We're just gonna take the pointy end, and squeeze it, and just go up and down the nose on the sides here, underneath the eyes, like a little bit more to brighten it up. I like the way my concealer stick blends in with the concealer liquid. It's perfect and it's not cakey at all. Merit understood the assignment. For sure. She's looking alive and well. With my foundation brush, I'm gonna go with the contour to kind of blend it in so it's not too deep. We love to see it. We love a good blend. We don't wanna erase it, but we don't want it to be too much of a contrast. Then we'll take care of the sides of the nose with a smaller brush to define that contour right into my brows. She's giving, okay? She's giving what needs to be given. Then with my Fenty setting powder in the color Banana, which is a little light, but that's all right. We're just gonna set all the places where I have concealer. I'm gonna get some of this off on my hand first. And then we're just gonna press it in. Press, 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 press. Down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm gonna keep quite a bit on my nose until I'm done. My new favorite bronzer has been from Minta Cosmetics. It is the color Yacht Life. It's not too deep. I do have a deeper one. I think it's called Out of Office, but I use that for like nighttime. I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush, dab it up in there. Get that excess off. I just wanna, I just wanna make friends with my face. Oof. I'm finding that I might have used a little too much, so I'm gonna have to dust some of it off. That's all right though. I will. I will fix it. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just go right back over that. Be like, hey girl, calm down. I know you came to party, but it ain't that kind of party. There we go. I'm gonna go back with this little tiny brush and contour ever so slightly the sides of my nose, but not going all the way down. Just right there. We like it, don't we? We like it. And I said I wasn't going all the way down and then I went all the way down. It's all right. There we go. She looks stunning. Now's the time I'm gonna use my all nighter setting spray. We don't wanna do too much, but we gotta do enough. And then I have some new eye pencils. This one is an LA Girl Ultimate eye pencil and it's the color some kind of blue green. So I'm gonna do this underneath my eyes. I like this, it gives me a little razzle dazzle, especially when I have kind of a more plain look.
LA girl is giving what it's supposed to give. I like that so much. Look at that. <laughs> She's adorable. Up next, I have a highlighting balm from Merit and it is the color Bounce is giving Rose Gold Goddess. I'm just gonna do a little something on my nose here. Yes. It's very smooth, just like the concealer. I hope y'all can see what it's giving, cause it's giving, okay? We're just gonna do a little here too. A little highlight. It's giving rose gold, guys. Oh, you can see it on that side. There we go, all right. Now, mascara, this is from Lily Lashes. So I said I was doing a simple look and then it turned out to be hmm, not very simple. So that's fine as well. But I love the way this Lily Lashes looks. Maybe I won't wear falsies. I'm wearing falsies. Y'all know what I didn't do? An inner corner highlight. Just gonna take a little, little rose gold from the Elf Chipotle palette. So good. So good. The easiest way for me to put on my lashes is to do the glue on my top lid and not on the lash itself. These are my most natural looking lashes. They just add a little umph. And that's what I want. I can do drama for dinner, but for lunch, let's just go natural. Look at that, look at that. Turn up, oh, she's tired. Turn up, oh, she's tired. I'm nearing the finishing stretch and I just gotta do my lips. I was gonna do some blush, I'm not doing blush. But I got some tinted lip oil from Merit. Look at this beautiful deep color. It's very pretty. So I think what I'm gonna do is just line my lips with a brown lippy and then fill it in with this lip oil and see what pops. When I line with brown, I go around the exterior of my lips to kind of make my lips look a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna fill in and then I'm gonna use the oil. Let's see if this lip oil is popping. It's thick, I like that. Oh, it's giving. Okay, it's getting sheer, okay. I thought at first it was gonna be like a thick matte lippy. And then I would have been confused, like, why is it called lip oil, tinted lip oil? But it, it actually is a tinted lip oil. You can still kind of see my lip through it. You can see my liner. I like this, actually. I think if you, would, if you did two passes or two layers, it would be thicker. And it is moisturizing. I love that. I'm gonna finish off my look and I'll be right back. And that's the final look. It's giving natural with a pop of color. My under eye is giving me life. Headed out to have some late lunch. See my babe, just have a great time. I hope you like this look with the hair and the makeup. Today's a good day. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Conversations with Candace. If you have any questions about anything, check the description box or shoot me a message on Instagram. And until next time, y'all have a good day.